So let's say you want to edit a drawing, an AutoCAD drawing with uh, ARCHICAD. Uh, what you would do is, let's say I needed to move this window. If you check it, it's all just individual lines because, well, it's AutoCAD. Uh, can you move it? Well, sort of. You can always use the stretch command and just go ahead and type in any number you like and notice that it will stretch. It will not move as individual objects. Uh, if you select the whole thing here, notice that drag would actually rip the whole wall off. So you need to use um, the stretch command instead. So uh, with the uh, marquee, so you lasso around it, and then you can go ahead and use stretch. If you use um, uh, delete or something like that, of course, that'll work as well. Uh, now, you might have another situation like, let's say I wanted to m stretch where this window was. Notice what happens if I select it and I go to stretch and I s set it over some distance. The ends of these lines here also would be selected. So I hit undo there, of course, and unselect that. And hopefully these blue lines here are on a different layer, so I can always freeze that layer. You can go to layers and freeze it. I can find out what layer it's on. It looks like it's on layer freeze, weirdly enough. So to stretch this, typically what you would do is just turn off the layer that these blue lines here are on. Now, one of the things that you'll discover in this particular drawing, and this is very, very unusual, is when I select this and I turn off just that one layer, uh, that the entire drawing is on one particular layer. I don't know why. Maybe they did that just before sending it to you. So what I could do to solve this little issue is to move these to hopefully a stair layer if there one exists. I don't see one. These to a layer. I don't see a stair layer, but I could just go ahead and use layer 5 and uh, select these and turn off that layer. Uh, now, uh, what I could do is go ahead and use the stretch command. And notice that there's a shortcut for it. Control H will work. And now I can just go ahead and move that window just fine. Then, of course, you can always go back to layers, which is under layers, layer settings. Uh, and turn layer 5 back on, of course. If you need to add any new lines, I probably would create my own layer. Um, give it your initials, you know, J-I-L-L, Jill 1, for whatever. Just go ahead and draw on that layer. So let's say when I go to here, I'll just draw on the Jill 1 layer. So now notice I've got my lines just the uh, same as before. So I let's say I need to add a cupboard or something here. I just go ahead and draw in the usual way. Uh, if I do add something like walls to this, or if I trace over their thing in order to get walls, you know, sort of like that, uh, and then go to, say, a 3D window, um, I'm going to see only what I've done in 3D as part of the 3D model, not, uh, not any of their 2D line work. Uh, I need to trace over anything that I do want to see in 3D. So you co could always add pop-in windows and so on. Um, if you do do stuff like that, I would keep track of this stuff on separate layers altogether, the 3D stuff. You could put 3D in the name of the things, like instead of the ARCHICAD layer here. And remember, you just select it and move it to uh, some other layer and put 3D in the name. Uh, because when you do save the drawing again as an AutoCAD file, down at the bottom here, DWG. Make sure you change the name here. This is Kelly Garage 2004. I'd call it 2004. Put your initials in it, JE or something, one, or preferably with a date, JE, uh, say, 1206 or whatever. And, and then hit Save, and that will convert it to AutoCAD.